Hello, good people! That Fallout 3 guy here to bring you the magical mystery tour of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, uh, I think it was me and Luke, yes, me and Luke, we teamed up and just completely and utterly kicked all sorts of ass. In this episode, we're gonna head to Vermilion City to, well, we're not gonna fight the next gym yet because there's some stuff involved with it that we're going to have to deal with ourselves. Also, you may have noticed that I haven't introduced a super special guest yet, but that's mainly because I don't have one. Uh, there was a funny story, actually. Um, if you'll notice, Luke and Tog are actually really high level for this area. That's because I tried recording more, but I fucked up and lost my save and had to restart from right before, a little before I beat Misty's Gym, all those trainers on that road. Yeah, it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun at all. It was pretty much unfun, in fact. But we're gonna try and re-go through this. As you'll see, there's a giant gaping hole in the back of this man's house, and it's far too large to be any hole of a glorious nature. So we're gonna ask him what's up. Those miserable rockets, look what they've done to my house. They stole a TM for teaching Pokemon how to dig holes. I was going to use it on a Mankey or a Sand Shrew. That cost me a bundle, it did. But why do Pokemon need special moves taught to learn how to do things like that? Why can't you just be like, hey, move your hands in a motion that would dig. I don't want to waste that move on you. Just, it makes no sense. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. It's not yours either, jackass. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? Yes, prove your innocence by challenging me to a Pokemon battle. That's sure to make you n look not suspicious at all. It doesn't help the fact that your name's Grunt and you're wearing Team Rocket's outfit. Just, you're just making your, this worse on yourself. Just, just, just kick his ass, Luke. Razor Leaf. This fight is not going to be interesting in the slightest. Yeah. They're really over level because I was not about to train them back up to that level, so I um resorted to black magic Cthulhu tactics, and Cthulhu gave me a bunch of rare candies, and it did not involve any sort of game or shark whatsoever. And that is my story, and I will stick to it till my death. Thank you. Good night. Yes, smack your head into me. That does so much damage because you're so amazingly strong compared to my. You get a critical when I don't need it. That's 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 so typical. Luke gained 370 experience bonus. Player defeated Team Rocket. Oh my god, change this thing to make it go faster. Fall out, I've got money. Why does he give me money? Do I just like does he give it to me in hopes that I won't kill him? I'll return the TM I stole. Yes, he gives us the TM instead of giving it back to the guy. I better get moving. Bye, then he just leaves. He doesn't want to get arrested, that's why he just kinda of runs. And, wanna what happens if we try and talk to the guy about it? I figure what's lost is lost. I decided to dig how to dig without a TM. Yes, he doesn't even want it back. We go through that. Well, I say that like it's a massive challenge or something like that. And he doesn't even want the damn TM back. Right, down here is a tree that we can't move out of the way because, you know, you have to cut it. And we can't exactly cut yet. We have to get the... We have the badge that'll let us cut, but we need the TM. Also, in this patch of grass, you will find a very special Pokemon that we'll probably get to soon, but in case we don't, his name is Meowth, and he's just, if you want a good normal type, then Meowth's good because he's really fast, has good attacks, learn good moves. This guy's the daycare guy. Uh, he can raise one of your Pokemon for you. You pay him, quite frankly, a ton of money, and for every certain amount of steps you take. I think for every one step, it's one experience or something like that. I'm not sure how it's factored, but they factor it basically like that. And the higher up, the more he levels, the, like, more it costs to keep him there. But that's not all it's for. In the first generation, that was all it's for. But in this generation, you can actually breed Pokemon by doing that. So it actually makes Ditto useful for once. Oh yeah, there's hidden items in the underground path, but we're not going to try and get those. And also, all the trainer battles here, we're only going to do the ones that are required, which aren't that many. Fuck this guy, by the way. He has a Butterfree that only knows Supersonic and Sleep Powder, and it is a bitch. Just, uh, it's, it's just, it's not fun, alright? It's just, it's just not. It's quite the opposite of fun, in fact. It's, 
unfun if I... Because that's a word. Go, Luke! Kill the small bird for my amusement. Razor leaf. Yes, slice it with leaves. Instead of killing it with fire, we're cutting it with leaves. God. Radicate. Because apparently no other trainer aside from a very select few that don't fall into the trainer classes know how to use something that's not typical. Also, by the way, Tog knows Seismic Toss now, which is a pretty good move. It does damage based on your level. So, like, it's not super effective to anything. I'm not sure if it affects Ghosts or not, but as you'll see, it doesn't one-shot him. Whereas if, if we use Karate Chop, it would have one- Shit, critical hit, fuck you. It would have one-shot him. See? Because it's super effective and we're ten levels higher than it. I'm pretty sure that doesn't factor into it at all. Wow, we almost leveled up again. Bye, Jeff. Right, we're almost back to the point in which I was earlier, which is right before the, uh, the next rival battle. I'm going ahead and giving that away because I'm sure that no one watching this has ever not played this game. I mean, maybe not this game specifically, but one of the Pokemon games, at least. I mean, come on, who hasn't played Pokemon? I know people that don't play games that have played Pokemon. They're, like... Yeah, that's right, they don't know how to play games at all, not even cards or Battleship or anything like that. Oh, right, before I go on to SSM. In here. This guy. Right here. This man gives you the sec one of the most useful items in the entire game. I am chair- I chair the Pokemon fan club. See, I was confused at what he meant about this at first, but I figured it out. It means he just busts in every now and then with a steel chair folded up. He's wearing, like, a tight leotard that's usually very bright colors, and he's got a golden belt wrapped around his waist, and he says, It's time to lay the smacketh down, and proceeds to just smack the shit out of everyone, while JR6 on commentary going, Oh my god! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Yes, it's WWF reference because fuck WWE for any of these who don't know. I raised more than a hundred Pokemon. But shouldn't they be raised? Whatever. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So, did you come to hear about my Pokemon? Uh, yes we did. Think. Good, then listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it. When sleeping. Warm. And cuddly. Spectacular. Ravishing. Oh, look at the time. I need to go change my panties. Again. Yeah, that's just... So many subtle amplifications of horrible, horrible things right there. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Fallout received a bike voucher. Now, we can actually return to Cerulean City and turn this in for a bike, which, in my opinion, the bike's probably the most useful item in the game because you move so much faster than it. And that's really the only thing worth noting in that, uh, in that area. So, for now, we're going to head to the SSN. We're going to save first because, well, we, we don't want to die. We don't just want to show up and be like, hey... Yeah. Yeah, I say I'm going to go to the SSN, then I immediately go other way. Actually, yeah, we'll come here later. We'll go ahead and go to the SSN. There's some stuff over there I want to show. It's not really that... Well, one thing kind of is. Go to the SSN. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Fallout. Flash the SS ticket. Yes, that's right. We got on the boat by flashing an older man. That is how. Don't question it. It's probably illegal. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. For him. We won't get in trouble. No, I don't think so. There's another thing I wanted to check out. Is it in here? No, it is not. Yes, we're going right to the SSN, people. I swear. I promise. We're totally not going to get sidetracked by this guy right here. I'm the fishing guru. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like the fish? Yes, I do like the fish. Grand, I like your style. I think we can be friends. Take this and fish, young friend. Yay! We got an old rod from a man we barely know. He gave it to us because he thinks we can be friends. Fishing is a way of life. It is like the finest poetry. From the seas to the rivers, go out and land the big one, my friend. 
Uh, you can use the old rod to catch everyone's favorite Pokemon, Magikarp. We, of course, won't be catching one in this LP. I have an idea for what my water type's going to be, and it's not going to be Magikarp. Of course, it evolves into Gyarados, which has a really good attack stat. Do we have to flash the ticket again? It has a really good attack stat and learns some damn good moves, but it's a kind of a pain in the ass to train from a magic cart. But if you can do it, then yeah, go for a Gyarados. They're really good. They don't have that many weaknesses. Either. Also, take a good hard look at this motherfucking boat because um that we're on because we won't be back on here for a while. Obvious references, obvious. Bonjour! I am the waiter on this ship. I would be happy to serve you anything you please. Ah, let's draw silent type. Well, do you have the roast corpses of screaming children? Yes, we do! Wait, you do? We are friends! We have everything! Oh, I didn't have to go in here. Right, you can go in all these rooms and battle the trainers to get free XP, but quite frankly, I'm not, because I already did grinding. Well, look, I think there's some stuff we can get in here. Yep, Chesto Berry. <laughs> Chesto. <laughs> Chest. <laughs> God, I need help. Oh, a P.E.K.K.A. Berry. Nice. Why would someone throw berries, like, perfectly good berries in the trash can? Or, what if they're not perfectly good? What if we're just, like, fishing old, rotted berries out of the trash can that will kill our Pokemon from some kind of horrible, contagious disease the moment we try and give it to them? My god, we're a terrible trainer. Feeding our Pokemon shit from out of the trash. If you go up here, there is more... Th oh, wow, we can run up here. Nice. There's a deck, you can battle more trainers out here. Again, I'm not going to because I basically already did. And then the save stays are just a pain in the ass. Right. Up here. This fight's gonna be tough. Save it. Don't turn off the power. Yeah, it didn't take us that long to get here, because I skipped most of this stuff, but we'll, we'll be going over it soon. Right. It's time. Well, it's not yet. And then here he is. It's Baller himself. Bonjour! Fallout! Imagine seeing you here! Fallout! Were you really invited? So, how's your Pokédex coming? I already got 40 kinds, pal. Different kinds are everywhere. Crawl around in glassy areas and look hard for them. I bet you do like crawling around and looking hard, don't you, Baller? You. Oh, and also he gets a new sprite that basically goes, Yeah, I like crawling around and looking hard. What you gonna do about it? Hate is gonna hate. Hate is gonna hate. And he sends out Pidgeotto, which of course he evolved from that useless little Pidgey. Pidgeotto actually becomes really good later on. Start off with a seismic toss because it does damage based on our level and not based on our other things. Oh, nice. It's, his Pidgeotto's about to die unless he uses... Oh, well, never mind. Yep. Yeah. His Pidgeotto's down. It was going way easier than the last time. Last time I got my ass kicked. Oh, really? You kidding me? Come on, shit. Come on, Tog, you got this. Yeah, throw it. Throw the bird into the air, which quite frankly wouldn't do anything to a bird because it has wings, but still, fuck logic. And he levels up to level 27. Holy shit, he's going to evolve soon. I am really over level. That's because I only have Tog and Libra. Kadabra, yeah, we'll switch out because Kadabra's actually kind of a pain in the ass. Because it knows.